Hi guys, today I want to show you how to create a post and uh, publish it. We're also going to do some editing. If you have a WordPress site, you'll have to go to Posts, Add New Post, and you will see this page. So as a title, you'll have to enter your title. And for example, in this case, I just copy pasted the text and it's not formatted yet because we will be doing it in the process. So this is the title of our post. So now this is a text and you have this edit options right here in the classic editor. So for example, you want to make it bold. You can just do it like this. You can change it to italic and if you want to clear it, you can just click this clear formatting icon. In case you want to change the font size, it's right here. So you can select where you want. And we're gonna keep it black. Also, you can add links. So links are right here. That's pretty much the main menus you'll have to use if you have a simple post. So now let's format it a little bit. Right now, this is just block of text. It looks exactly the same, it doesn't look good. So now we need to make some headers. So this is our title, it should be header one. So we click on here and select heading one. This I want to make header two. So it's gonna look like this. And we can skip the rest. So maybe I want to make this bold. And now I want to have subsections. So this is another heading two. And this is going to be heading three. Something like this. I'm not going to do the same with all of them. I'm just showing you the example. And right now you can also see that I don't have any images. To insert the image, the only thing you have to do is, for example, I want to insert the image under this title, right? So I just click enter and click on add media and select all the media I have here. So for example, I want to add this image, right? And right now you can see that alt text and title is already pre-populated because I used this image before and let's say in your case most likely this field will be empty so you'll have to add the text manually so for example this we going to add some keywords and since it's supposed to be about New York I'm going to add something like New York trip but to add a good keyword, you'll have to do some research. So make sure you do that. For title, also I can change it to the same or something else. I'm just gonna keep the same. And that's pretty much what we're gonna do here. And now it's inserted like this. So now we need to change the position. I want to be centered. So I click the center icon. Now I click pencil and I want to change the size. I want to make it large. So we display it large like this. So now it looks good. If you want to add the name for your image right here underneath, you'll just click pencil icon and add the caption, I believe. So let's try New York image. Yeah, so see right now it is pre-populated and it displays under your image. So that's how you add images. Let's say you want to make your um, you want to make your text like a hyperlink. So for example, you want to link to other pages. That's also easy to do. You just have to, let's say, highlight the word. For example, in this case, you can see I have the link here, which links to get your guide tools, right? And you'll just have to highlight whatever word you want and click this icon and add the link. And also, I always make sure that it's opened in a new tab. And that's all. Add link and it will look like this. And if you want to add a navigation menu, I have a full post on how to add anchor links, but I will just show you quickly. For example, you want to add this as your navigation menu. So we're going to quickly create navigation links menu. Make it bold and add 
for this menu so it jumps to this page and how to navigate new york so now we're going to click this and just add pretty much the same but make sure it has no spaces how to navigate we can just keep as this and click this button that's all so now what we need to do is make sure to copy this highlight this go to text and here we can see this so now we're gonna do this id equal and the text we just added and make sure you delete this found it is under words visual so now if we preview it this is our navigation link and when i click on it it should send us to this section and see it worked so that's how you add anchor links and um, that's all pretty much you need for a simple post to add links photos and edit your text and um, on the right side you can see that you also can add tags it is advisable that you don't add a lot of them to freeze the max so we can just add one and we'll throttle this then add that's how it's added here you will have to select a category where you would like it to be posted if you have their categories available and for the feature image you will have to also add the feature image so it is displayed like a big banner at first when you add your post so i'm also going to change it to new york new york set and uh, you can see it will set right here so now when you preview again you can see it is available right when you open the post right here and here i have yoast plugin so i have to fill some fields before i post the post it's important to make sure these are green ideally but they also can be orange red is bad though so here their ceo title is pre-populated but we will be just copying this and inserting it right here so it looks different and now you can see the preview as well here for meta description you will have to add some meta description so i'm going just to copy paste something from here but for meta description you also have to make sure you use the keywords and uh, it is green so right now it is orange because i our use their maximum limit of characters i believe it's 142 and now i have more than that so i'm just going to remove this and now it looks green so that's good now we also need to add focus keyfills it allows ideally to add five words so we're going to add how to spend 40 hours in new york because sometimes it's still gonna be orange so time to time you might need to remove some words and uh, have less so right now we have orange and red if we click on this tab we can see what's wrong so ideally we will have to fix this issue so it is going to be orange at least and this always should be green for seo purposes right now it's orange because we also have to change something so when i click on the seo analysis tab it also shows me what's wrong so right now it says that I have no internal link so it's also important to link your existing post to some other posts on your site and it also says that they don't have key phrase in introduction we will need to add that ideally and etc so you can see what's wrong in here and edit it 
once you edit it it will be green ideally and green here or orange sometimes i keep it both green sometimes i keep it orange and green but i always make sure that seo tab is always green and that's all so once you're done here you can either save as draft you can preview you can make visibility as private or public and if let's say you are done and ready to publish you just click publish i won't be publishing it because it's not real post and here we just created it for the tutorial purposes and uh, that's it so it's pretty easy to use classic editor to create and edit your posts and i hope this tutorial was helpful thank you for watching bye